Good morning! Hey there, pals. I know I said I was gonna vlog more and then I actively haven't been doing that. <laughs> um, so, guess what I'm doing today? <laughs> today I have off from work. Um, I'm also hungover from only drinking two blueberry Long Island iced teas from TGI Fridays. Jeez, I can say I'm getting fucking old, my guy. Um, but yeah, let's get this day started. I got a lot of shit I gotta do. And the first one is cleaning the depression hole that my bedroom has become. Now I'm actually gonna go clean my room because for about like 30 minutes I got distracted watching that Les Miserables, Les Miserables, Les... I took French for eight years and I have no fucking idea how to pronounce it. It was on TV and I got distracted because two major things. Um, also, I have no idea what that musical is about or what even is like going on really other than they're French and they're sad. And um, two major things. One, none of them can really sing all that well, so I don't understand how I was like nominated for, you know, awards. <laughs> and two, can we stop putting Eddie Redmayne in movies? He's not good. The only movie Eddie Redmayne was good in was the same movie where Channing Tatum was a furry. I don't remember what it was called, but it was a damn good film. Okay, let's talk about a serious problem I have. Let's count. One notebook two notebook, three notebook, four notebook, five notebook, six notebook. Hold on. Seven notebooks. Who lets me? In case anyone was ever wondering um, exactly how old I am, the answer would be one, two, three, four, five, six. I am six years old. But seriously, look how cute this little nuggy is. He's so sweet and his name is George and I love George so much. Okay, like three hours later, I'm officially done cleaning my room. I mean, I still have a pile of depression laundry right over there, but we're gonna take care of that later. Now, I need to shower and not be a gross looking gremlin anymore and try to be productive today. <sighs> I had the thought of making myself look, you know, at least semi-decent for today's vlog, maybe put on a coat of mascara, but now that I work full-time as a makeup artist, I... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I follow Astro Poets like it's my goddamn religion, and every week, like, you know, they make the same tweet for each of the zodiac signs, like, this is how, like, your week's gonna go, blah, 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 and it's all very, like, poetic and nice, and this was mine. 
today. Week 127 in Gemini. You get sort of excited at the thought of just you and your dreams alone in a yellow room. That is, until you start crying. Speaking a song isn't the same as writing the song. You'll probably forget that. And thank God Mimi on Twitter was able to translate that for my stupid fucking ass. And it roughly means you're looking forward to the day where you can just live your life comfort comfort fuck. <laughs> live your life comfort comfortably. <laughs> comfort com got whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Without any worries, but you're upset at the fact that you actually have to work hard to ch achieve this level of success. Great. 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 Like, not only is, like, January and February, like, this time of year awful for my mental health, like, every year when these two months roll around, I just have the worst fucking time. And then to see that today to find out that hey you're not working hard enough for all the fame and fortune that you so desperately desire great awesome sick love my life having a good time life of the party So right now I'm working on like the education aspect of my resume and I pulled up my old transcript from college to like include like rele relevant completed coursework and it just kills me like looking back at all these classes that I took and like how my grades are so good like A, A minus, nothing below a B plus, right? And it just kills me because I was so fucking smart once. But yet, so fucking stupid <laughs> when it comes to basic things in life, such as, like, simple addition and subtraction, or, you know, what side of the road do I need to drive on? It's like, simple things in life cause me such a panic, but yet, give me a book and I can go full fucking galaxy brain on everyone in the class. wanted to be known that I had full intentions today of leaving the house when the sun was out and running errands and getting stuff done and that statement is now like half true because I did manage to leave the house I am about to run into Walmart to pick up a few things that I needed it just happens to be uh, 9 p.m. y'all think if I film inside Walmart and get kicked out I'll officially become a real youtuber Wow, this Walmart lighting is not doing any papers. But I know what I said earlier, but hear me out. It's sparkly. I kinda need it. welcome you to the newest segment of this video which is called laundry thoughts and um a random thought that popped into my head this cranium of mine is i know how i talk about all the time that i really want to be rich and famous and make a bunch of money so that way you know i can secure the future for me and my pals to do a bunch of fun shit but one kind of like selfish reason why I want to make a bunch of money 
is to be able to do a shot for shot recreation of this classic scene in all of cinema, of all of film, and it is a scene from my childhood, and I'm sure your childhood if you're watching this video, from the the cult cult classic, the, you know, the international smash hit, high school musical Dose, and the scene in particular I really want to recreate is um, the song that really should have won best original um, score in a feature film at the Oscars. It surprisingly was snubbed that year and it's the song sung by my sweet, sweet, beautiful boy, Zac Efron, as he stomps around a golf course, bet on it. And what I wanna do with at least, you know, a bajillion dollars is to recreate that entire scene myself, lip singing his sweet angelic voice as I myself stomp around a golf course. <laughs> And, you know, I would film this video, tweet it at him, and say, Hey, Zac Efron, I did this for you. Can I get one big smoocherino? And then he would tweet back at me, Hell yeah, you beautiful bitch. Keys, keys. It is officially midnight o'clock, and I am exhausted. I've been up since 8 in the morning, and I'm just ready to lay down. I did a lot of things today. Did I get everything I wanted done today? No, not even close. But I did get more done than I have gotten done in the past couple of days. Does that make sense? <laughs> I updated my resume today. Well, completely just fucking redid my resume today. I officially tackled all of my depression laundry. The last of it is in the dryer right now. I cleaned my room. I actually went outside and picked up things that I've needed for a while now. I did a face mask. Um... Better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> and I vlogged today too, that's important. I actually filmed today. Um, I don't know, a bitch is trying. A bitch is really trying, guys. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't been really happy because I, f I don't know. Like I said, these months suck. I hate this time of year. It never feels like I get anything done, but but I am. I am getting stuff done and I'm taking steps and sure I didn't get everything done today like I said but that means I have plenty to do tomorrow. In fact, I'm about to write down everything I need to get done tomorrow. Um, but right now I just want to drink my tea and listen to some ASMR and just go to bed so that way I can get bright. That bleh, bleh. <laughs> Ugh. So that way I can get up bright and early tomorrow and put in more work because tomorrow I also have the day off so that means I have plenty of time to edit this video, film a new video, actually send my resume out on Indeed to different places in the city. I don't know, maybe practice my monologue because I haven't been doing that. I haven't really been working on my acting, so I need to do that. And also tomorrow too, I need to work on my story because I made it one of my 2019 goals to write a thousand words a day and I was pretty good on that, but like this past week, my brain has just been not, not, just not. I, I write like one sentence and it takes me about six hours to do that. So hopefully tomorrow I can get myself in a good headspace after I get everything done to maybe not write a thousand words, but at least try to write 500 words because at least 500 words 
you know, it might not be a thousand, but it's more than zero, and that's what counts. And that's the mindset I just need to keep being in. I think I'm just rambling at this point, and I'll end the video, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a good rest of your day, or night, or wherever this video finds you, and I'll catch you next time.